Coin Ops Legends 3. This is the max edition. There are some smaller editions as well. But this one, look at this, over 653 arcade games, over 103 console games, new artwork, more more optimization, day and night mode that I'm about to share with you. Uh, if you're looking for an arcade experience, plug and play, easy to change shaders, things like that, well organized, lots of packs out there, then look no further. Uh, they're always doing new things. A new theme has been added. Um, uh, there's a bunch of little little things here and there that um, are cool. It's great to see new things being added. It's great to see innovations. It's great to you know bring these things to the next level. So let's go ahead and check out this night and day mode really quick, and then we'll go ahead and check out more of the build and what's in what's included and what's in the file system and everything else. So, all right. So right now you have a glass effect there's even like a little smudge or uh scuff effect on there as well and it's daytime right so let's exit out let's head over to settings and you can see in the bottom right corner over here we have a sun and so the sun means you're on daylight in that bottom right corner there when we hit this day night button here in settings it should now be a moon there you go you see the little slice of moon there in the bottom right and so now let's go back to all games here. What were we playing? We we're playing Marvel vs. Capcom. So I'm hitting the right trigger to go jump letters. Let's go down to Marvel vs. Capcom over here. And now that we're in night mode, they actually turn off the glass effect and they add a glow effect. And then the marquee itself is, um, you know, a, a vignette. Is 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 you know way less. Uh, the bright the brightness is way lower. And so depending on what you know whether you're playing these games during the day or the night and if you have light on in your room or not, um, you can uh, play with these settings. So pretty cool. Now obviously some people like to run their own combination of how the game should look. And so with that, you just want to go to advanced settings and you can turn on all kinds of shaders and effects totally built in here. You know, Coin Ops was built around the arcade experience, and so this is just one way to experience it. But I think a lot of people who use use this for the plug and play um, kind of uh, they use it as plug and play, right? They don't mess around with any of the other settings. That's how they use this setup. Then you're gonna love that, right? It's something you just click and not worry about, right? So other than the themes, we have you know I'll show you all these themes. You also have the day and night mode and settings. And then as you go right, you have your different uh, categories, right? You have all games with every single game included, 745 total games. All the arcade games are 653. So that's going to include some, uh, you know, not like the Mario Kart uh, GT is in here. You're also going to have some Neo Geo in here. Uh, there's even Afterburner Climax, which is a PS3 game. But then you're going to have all those classic MAME games as well. So there's a, just a ton of collection here um, of, of arcade games. Then you move on to consoles here. And as you see, you got 103 console games. I think there's something like 30 new console games added. So the old one had like around 70 or so. Don't quote me on that, but that's about what we're looking at there. I'll go ahead and go through these console games uh because you know that those there's 30 new ones and honestly i can't pick which 30 it is so here's some game and watch games and uh so far i'm really liking it this particular theme i really like it i like marquees i think marquees are really cool looking so um you got the legend of zelda for snes and nes so it looks like the nintendo logo is slightly different that was something that oh they have another um a, a, a dream uh i want to say dreamcast but um gamecube game uh all right, you got some more SNES. And then usually you can tell what console it is. So you got Mario Kart Double Dash, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. So some really solid, strong games on here. And uh, these are all hand-selected, the, the games. I'm not sure who goes with those, but based on what I'm looking at, these are very popular games for their, for their time. And then some are cult classics as well. So Super Mario Sunshine, nice. And this is on a PC. You should be able to run most of these games on even kind of a mediocre computer. Um, oh, you even have Street Fighter 4 on here. 
All right, and they got Wavery 64. Isn't that the Grand Theft Auto guy on there? Uh, Wild Guns, Zero Gunner 2, and then Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And then, okay, so they have Afterburner Climax in both. Favorites. So you can hit start on your controller and, and add anything to your favorites. You even have last played over here. And then you have your different, these is, this has been with Coin Ops forever, which is, um, or for a long time, which is the, the five or six categories. Let me see what these are again. You have uh, old school arcade games. You got beat em up arcade games. You got run and gun. And you can see in the bottom right corner how many games are in each category here. Fight Club, you got 81. Shoot em ups, you got 138. Racing games, you got 52. And then sports games, you got 38. And look at these little icons coming out on the left side here, jumping in on you. Those are pretty cool. And then puzzle games, 28. So back when you go to just arcade, there's 653 games. It's hard to scroll through here. You can hit your right, your triggers at the top of your controller to jump letters pretty quickly. But if you, you know, scroll through 600 games is a lot, right? So for example, if you're in Fight Club over here and you want a Mortal Kombat, you could just scroll down and then find Mortal Kombat. You got one, two, three, and ultimate all there. You just have to go over to your letters. Such a cool game. All right, so here we are. The Coin Ops Teams presents play, Player Legends 3 Max. And you can hear what they have to say, everything from the day and night mode, auto hide playlist characters. We saw those pop out. Reordered playlists, selective executables. We saw the five, or you're about to see the five. And then here are the game breakdowns, uh, the theme breakdowns. Uh, you could jump through this video. I'm covering all most of this, these things here. So in second model three, there's three games, as I thought. And then Dolphin Triforce 2, that's like this, the... the um, mario kart game oh and then four pc games have been added now if you look that's something i didn't mention earlier which is there's 16 playlists now and now there's a spot for pinball and there's a spot for pc games so you know um whatever it is half-life or or pinball games or uh alex the kid guacamelee the new teenage ninja turtles game and then here are those five executables how they uh, play them and then how many games are in each uh category so here is the file system here. And uh, really where you're gonna spend most of your time is you have five executable files right here. So you have the three, which are gonna be all your games. And these are little micro, smaller. Uh, they're not gonna be all your games in there. And there's a couple ways if you want, you know, a lot of different options, a lot of menus versus not, you can play around with those. We're gonna be using all playlists for this video. Um, you know, your emulators are here. Your uh, ROMs are gonna be in collections. You also have advanced configurations, all kinds of stuff. This is what makes Coin Ops so cool. Um, you can change the Super Mario 64 edition, which you're using, or how it shows up. And uh, you've got bezels, you name it. Um, and then you have the really cool new uh, day and night mode included as well. All right, so let's check out themes here. First, we have the cabinet and marquee key theme. You can actually change the themes and settings in the front end. You don't have to do it in the file system like I'm doing it, opening the file. But here you go. You see the marquee on the right. You can see the cabinet on the left. You get the video snap or the you know the video preview in the, on the thing. And then you can see here I'm changing categories, what it looks like going between you know arcade games and things like that. This is one of my favorite themes just because I love marquees. I think marquees are very classic. So again, remember, you can easily change these a different way going through settings. I show you how to do that earlier in the video. But I want to show it to you this way because now I can show you a full screen of each exact uh, one. So you can see like the full screen experience, right? So here you go. You got the wheel on the right. You got the cat. The left side is the same as the last one. And uh, as you scroll the video, uh, you can still hear the sound and everything from the previous video. And then changing the categories is very similar. So what do we have now? We have, um, I couldn't even read that. But uh, what do we have here? I could probably figure it out. Okay, this is the default. Yeah, so this is what you get when you just boot up. If you don't change the theme at all, uh, a lot of this video was recorded in default as well as the marquee. So um, yeah, the default is just uh, at the top. It scrolls. I believe this next one is the fast version of this. And just it's, look how fast that is. Like it's fast. Ooh, that's fast. That thing can move. Um, so what very well optimized if you just want to get around the games you just want a fast front end click fast look no further it's pretty cool now uh, next theme we have here I think this is muted yep see no it's basically the default theme but muted right I, I you know I guess somebody wants that I don't know it's not what I'm looking for but I'm sure there's somebody out there that's looking for that 
Um, I think this next one is spin. So think of like a hyper spin type of type of feel to it, but uh, oh, it's at the top spin. So it spins at the top. So instead of the top being a uh, horizontal, it, it's a wheel, right? So it's like the default, but it has a wheel up at the top. Okay, I think the next one is vertical. Yeah, so it's like the default, but the uh, menu is on the right there. And I know I'm oversimplifying it. There might be other changes that they have to do to fit everything in and get it to work, but that's the overall navigation. And then last but not least, um, this is more the hyperspin, right? So you got the wheel on the right. Game over, man. Game over. All right, CoinOps Legends 3 Max. Look at this bezel work here. Beautiful stuff. When you load different games... You got the day and night mode. Let's try this one, Hard Corpse. Let's look at the marquee here. You know, the artwork here is great. That's why it's only available in 16.9 resolution is they make all this stuff custom, you know, for this experience. HD, um, you know, you can see here I got, you know, bezels on and uh, it looks great, right? Um, all the emulators and everything from the Dreamcast, you know, consoles, arcades is all set up. Even got Doom on here as well. You got Earthworm Jim. And you got so many great classic games. And uh, so the hand selection of games, the artwork on both marquees and on the front end here, the optimizations being used. I love the day and night mode. I mean, they really do, uh, they go all out on this stuff. And not only do they go all out, but they test their stuff. I know this build has been floating around for a few weeks now, and I know it just finally got released to the masses. So they do their work, they do their testing. They don't just throw out stuff for no reason. Or, you know, without testing it, and, and then everything's broken. So there you go, I'm digging it, you know. Is it worth the upgrade? I mean, you're going to get some optimizations. You're going to get that one new theme. You're going to get the new games. You're going to get, you know, some little things in the advanced files, you know, little things here and there um, for at only a 62 gigabyte download. You know, if, if you have decent, you know, internet speed, I would go for it, right? Why not? It's, it's looking pretty good. But um, that's what I think. You know, let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.